Let's take a look at the highlights of the full 90 minutes. It's a 1-1 result between Oyeme and Inter Moengo Tapo. What an exciting match we had from the get-go. It was uh, Inter Moengo Tapo with the opportunities, dominating possession, but in the end, uh, the Dominicans were able to get on the board the first minutes of a match. A great effort by Daniel James Lee on the right, putting the cross. Just a slight touch from Oriendo Hoiswood, but not enough to deflect the ball away from Hilario Mena. With the left footed shot, the score the first goal of a match and the first opportunity really for Oyeme. Right after that, Oyeme. And uh, Inter Moengo Tapo started a battle in the middle of the field, fighting for every single ball. Plenty of fouls to end the first half. The intensity went down a little bit for both sides. Oyeme concentrated on closing out the first uh, 45 minutes with the advantage at that point. The goal from uh, Hilario Mena was enough for them to advance to the next round. Donegi Fair able to create a couple of chances from the left side. This uh, a goal saving slide from uh, Modesta, from Wilman Modesta, the midfielder. But it was, this was just uh, some of the action out of the first half for Donegi Fair. Unable to control the ball that time in the middle. Harold Sanon and uh, De Jesus. Jorge de Jesus fighting for the ball. Dorson, who did not have as many touches as he did in the games against the Flames United, was still an important presence offensively. This uh, one of the few chances in the first half for Inter Moengo Tapo. A good ball from Mikel Darson looking for Giovanni Wall. Who in the end, uh, it's caught in between whether he wanted to pass to his teammate or take the shot. In the end, the missed chance uh, late in the first half. Daniel James Lee, towards the end of the first 45 minutes, holding on to the ball. Just uh, like we mentioned before, trying to secure the result. But things would change in the second half. This uh, late tackle from Donegi Fair. Good control here initially from uh, Wall, but good coverage as well from uh, Josimar Mojica. This will be a late challenge from Rivaldo Dorson. And this is uh, when things change for Inter Moengo Tapo with uh, Gerald Wicks coming on. Then Tonegi Fair move on to the right side. Here he moves past uh, Modesta, takes the left footed shot. The ball bounces right in front of the goalkeeper and onto the back of the net it goes. And that's the key moment in the match. Just a few minutes later, the experienced uh, striker Domingo Peralta came on. James Lee with the opportunity after the cross from the right, the ball that hits the post and in the second chance as well, it's Obrendo Hoiswood able to save the ball after the shot from Hilario Mena. A missed opportunity for OEM who needed a goal at least to move on to the next round. As the match went on, counter-attack opportunities started to appear for Inter Moengo Tapo. Gerald Wicks with a couple chances. Here's the first one after a good cross from the left from uh, Anduelo Moferie. But this time just unable to put the, f the final touch on the play, which it was uh, something to watch. Probably the best play of the tournament so far for Inter Moengo, just moving the ball from side to side. And towards the end, it's uh, about managing the moment. And that's exactly what... Inter Moengo Tapo was able to do here a late tackle, but all ball according to Tori Penso, no penalty. Arichel uh, Hernandez just uh, not as effective tonight as he was in the first match for OEM. Smiling Segura came on in the second half as well. Took care of a couple of set pieces, but wasn't effective connecting with Domingo Peralta, Daniel James Lee became the targets inside the box. This was a play in offside position. 
at least as, as it was called by the assistant referee, a pass from Daniel James Lee. But unable to finish was uh, OEM. As much as they went for the goal towards the end, the reality is that Inter Moengo Topoja was just able to dominate the game and dictate the tempo. They were never able to put numbers inside the box as much as they wanted. The individual effort was there, especially from James Lee. But in the end, that's not enough. As we will take a look, one of the plays of uh, the last of 10 to 15 minutes, as close as you're going to get if you're James Lee inside the box to at least put the cross in. But he goes for the individual effort. And in the end, it's Giovanni Asavigi who clears the ball away. A great effort defensively as well from uh, Inter Moengo to pull. Last few seconds of the match. Gerald Wicks goes in the counter-attack after Alessandro Baroni went on for a corner kick to Inter Moengo's box, but unable to finish again was Gerald Wicks. Probably the last chance of the match. And with that, it's Inter Moengo Tapo. Moving on to the next round, moving to the semifinals, they will be facing Delfines del Este on Sunday.